What's up everybody, it's the Assassin. Uh, <clears throat> today we're doing some steel braided brake lines, changing the rubber brake lines to steel braided brake lines. And I've already done some maintenance to the bike, that's kind of why it's torn apart like this. I've changed the spark plugs, tuned, not tuned, but sync the throttle bodies, uh, cleaned the uh, DNA air filter that I have in there. But we are going to be completely changing these rubber shit lines to steel bird brake lines that I have over here. I got these blue steel braided brake lines and I got these uh, front and rear uh, double H centered brake pads. EBC, that's the brand. And I don't know if I said these are from Cormoto. So what we'll need to do is completely flush out the old system or the old, yeah, pretty much completely flush everything out before we even pretty much touch this. So I kind of wanted to record it. And the reason I want to record it is because this bike is ABS and these lines are for non-ABS. So I kind of want to see, I kind of want to take it through my process of what it's going to be like. Now, the ABS sensors and stuff like that, I've been told I can leave them plugged in and it won't do anything because I have my fuse for the ABS taken out. And these sensors are what like clock your speed. So if I were, to, I can take these sensors off and, but then I won't have any speed. And I kind of ride this on the road as well. This is a legal street bike or a legal stunt bike as you, if you want to call it. So I don't want to, uh, I want to keep my, uh, my speedometer working. So to flush everything out, we will need to obviously crack open our little bleeder valve. Uh, let's see, I gotta see what side of these. Yep, it's 10. Okay, actually, before I do this, I'm gonna run and go grab some paper towels and like a lot of them. Okay. The reason you're going to want those is if you don't already know, brake fluid is very corrosive. It'll fuck up any of your paint, any, any paint you have anywhere, it will mess it up very badly. So if it does get anywhere, you'll just need to get some brake cleaner and a paper towel, spray it on there, wipe it off somewhat fast. You know, you don't want to, it doesn't have to be instant, but it's got to be pretty quick. So while we do this. I'm going to see if I can kind of set this up in a way where it can hold itself. Yeah, and it starts to kind of squirt too once you get it going. But since I have this loose, I have this little tool right here that I can just stick in there and you can already tell it's kind of gone down a little bit. I can just stick it in there and hook it up to my computer. You need a compressor for this. This is what this is. Pump this, it sucks it out. And the problem is I have to attach my, comp it's not, a my compressor's already on and pumped and everything, but this is kind of leaking when it's hooked up to this. So we'll make do with what we can. You can hear a slight leak, but I want to see how fast this, this goes. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> There's two bleeders on each side of the brakes. I have been told that you should suck this out from the top and go from either side and suck it out that way. take a wild guess and say that is the front and rear drain. Since this bike is ABS, the ABS module is right here. And so from here to here, you can see me move the brake line. Like this is, this one is moving. It goes to the ABS module. And from the ABS module, it goes down and splits. Well, I don't want an ABS bike. So 
what I'm guessing I'm gonna need to do is, and I think I got told this correctly, is take these off and I might be able to leave the banjo bolts in there so they, that hole stays plugged. We're gonna try that though. It's right here, right behind the fork. This is what it looks like when it's together on the on the bite. You can tell it's it holds in the line, so I couldn't get it out. But once I took the screw out or the Allen key or whatever you want to call it, it separates into two pieces. So keep that in mind. And they kind of lock together too. So oh, that's how. Okay, got it. Yes, you're trying to do this. This is metal. So, and like I said, the ABS module is on the right side of the bike. You'll see it because all your lines are connected to it. So, let's get to rocking and rolling again. Take the master one off. facing this way you need to kind of turn them in the way they need to be so I'm gonna see if I can do that just by test fitting but first we're gonna clean the brakes Take this out. Just let our 
patch drop. Wow. These pads still have quite a bit of life left in them, but they are ugly looking. They're dusty. Okay, bad. This bike's got quite a bit of miles on it too. It's got about 12K miles on it, so it, I'm surprised these look as good as they do. So just what I'm gonna do is the inside of this, I'm gonna like get it pretty good with brake cleaner. Same with all the uh, parts and stuff. And then, but I'm, I can't really move. I mean, I can move the camera, but I don't really want to with all this grease on my hands and shit. So I will be uh, right back. Okay, uh, sorry about the random cut. I got a, I got a call from, uh, from my girlfriend. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this up right here. All of this, cleaning this up. I'm almost done already. I'm gonna finish it up and then I'm gonna put the brake pads on, whoops. I'm gonna put the brake pads in, the new brake pads in here and put the brake calipers on the bike, leave them there. I won't film me putting the lines on cause I still gotta figure that out. And then I'll probably move to the rear, take the, all the brake lines off that I need to. And um, what is it? Um, do the same shit I'm doing right now. So yeah, I'll be right back with that. Fucking bugs, bro. God damn mosquitoes. Okay, here we are a week later from the last fucking clip that, uh, that I recorded. Right before I was about to put all the brake pads on, I realized I only bought one set of front brakes. So, um, second set came in yesterday, but I was at work all day, so I didn't have time. I'm off today, so I have time now. So, we are going to put the front brake pads on put the brake pad back on the bike, and then we will try to add the lines. So, we'll see how that goes. I guess it makes sense to slide them in from the top. Now, I mean, if you didn't know already, this is the brake pad side, so this needs to go towards the inside. So. If you didn't know that, now you do. So it's gonna be kind of hard to show this, but from what I can tell, you have to kind of, kind of have to juggle them in there, like so. Okay, you got it in. Okay, that's that one. Oh, well, okay. Got the front brake pads in. Now let's put them back on. Those are on there. All right, cool. Now we just connect the brake lines. They're all the same except for the one on the right caliper. Cause oh fuck, because the one on the right caliper has a, a double fitting. Yeah. So as you can see, they're all the same, but this bottom one is longer. That's for the the caliper on this side, because you have your line running from here to your master, and then you also have. Actually, so it needs to run from here 
to the left side over here. Obviously it's not gonna sit like that because I have it twisted a certain way. And it's gonna run to the caliper on this side where you see it dangling over here. So let's go ahead and put that on. I put washer over nut. Uh, which way is it wanting to go? Normally you'd have to twist them. These you don't have to do that because, well, this one. So it's gonna kind of sit like that. Hopefully you can see it. But with this one in between it like this. So we need that long angle bolt that's at the bottom. I'm gonna, gonna see the hummer fits in here, okay? You gonna try it right now? Yeah. All right. Okay, so sorry about that random cut, but my dad needed my help. So I went ahead and just finished this. So bolts on here, runs down. I haven't fully connected everything yet, but it runs down to the double connector here, as you can see. And then the short one runs across. I actually angle my phone so you can see it. Runs across to there. So I am going to Try to kind of put everything back together. It's gonna to be kind of hard to film it all, but you saw me kind of take everything apart. So just kind of reverse order that. And if you're doing this yourself, you know, just kind of reverse order everything. Try to put it all back to where it somewhat goes and you should be good. So let me get the front set back up and then we'll get going with the rear of the bike. What I'll have to do is probably take off these ABS lines that run right here. Yeah, I'll probably have to take this off and take this off so I can actually see the master and stuff. But I'll probably fish these lines out. Because I won't need them because my front ABS lines are gone. So let us go ahead and disconnect this. I think that's a 12 millimeter. Oh, that was actually not cranked on there. Hell yeah. Fucking bet, my guy. Okay, let's see if we can get this rear caliper off. <sighs> yeah, from what I learned, you have to bear into this. Because you have a little, I'm sorry I can't get close, but you have on your brake caliper, there's like a little safety pin. I'll show you what it looks like, you'll see. Looks like that. And you gotta like, bear into it so you don't strip it. Ah! You can drop it, that's fine. And then there's an Allen key where you take that little thing off. Yeah, it's a, this little bolt is a five millimeter and my five millimeter is jacked. Ah, okay. Don't take it out of the way because this is what, this little bolt is what holds your brakes, but loosen it a little bit. This is a six millimeter. This one's easy as fuck to take out. What the hell? That's loose. Okay. Fucking mosquito. Oh yeah, that's right. This is a 14 out of 12. He's over here. Jesus. God damn, dude. Oh my God, this thing is so long. Oh, thank you. Jesus. Let me take my fucking caliper off, please. Sweet baby Jesus. Yeah, as you can tell, the, the, brakes, the brake pads are kind of just dangling. So. Ugh, I'm gonna break fluid all over my fucking hand. Yep, that wins. Oh, it's this size, that's 
right? That's out. We can take these brake pads out. So the new ones compared to the old ones. God damn, these got more life than the new ones. Wow, okay. Well, center brakes are better than whatever these are, so go along with the steel braid brake lines I'm about to put on. This bike about to be fucking mint. But you can tell this has like a shit ton of life left on it. I guess because they want people to use this rear brake more. A lot of brake pads, a lot of brake pads. Wow. bike works is if you don't have an ABS bike if you're watching this you probably do have an ABS mode MT-07 and you're wondering how the fuck to unfuck what Yamaha did but the way it works is if you're watching this just out of curiosity an ABS bike from the master runs to a module which runs to the ABS like it runs to like I guess a connector I guess you could call it but it, from there it runs all the way up to the ABS module and then from the ABS module it runs all the way back down to the master. Well, if you're trying to get rid of your ABS, you just run it, or non-ABS bikes, just run it straight from the master to the cylinder, which is what I'm doing. So that's why this is gonna be a bit of a pain. So when, you're, when you take this off, you'll see that the master is right here. I don't, I don't think I'll have to take this off. I'll be okay, this little foot guard. But the master is right here, and it runs to this little, like, mod, like, I don't know what to call it, but you'll see where the line runs to, and it runs into that. And then it, all the, the ABS lines run up to the ABS module, and then back down from the cylinder, it runs into it as well. So what I think I'm gonna do is try to take this off. I had a friend tell me I might have to cut some metal. I really don't. I really hope I won't uh, need to. So I do, I'm gonna kind of be sad. I have nothing to really cut anything, cut metal with. What are you connecting to? Uh, to that. Okay. That's not a problem. I think this is a 14 as well. Oh, that's a 12. Right? Yes, sir. If you haven't yet, go ahead and remove all of your ABS bolts or your ABS lines. Just go ahead and do it. And then just to be safe, put the bolts that connected the lines to the ABS module, just put, uh, put them back in. I'm 
just gonna yank it out. Maybe. <laughs> if I can. If I can. Ouch. It is loose, but what are we hitting, Nick? There we go. There we fucking go. I didn't even get the one I wanted out. Fuck. Well, I can tell you right now, this is uh, irreversible at this point. Pulling the baby S lines off like this. Oh, you motherfucker, just come on. Yeah, this, don't need that anymore. Same thing with the other one. Oh, fuck me. Just come on out. Piece of fucking shit. I did. Maybe I do need to cut this metal then. Because if that's going to be such a pain to get off, I'm just going to file it off. Because I don't think I'll need it. I don't think I'll need it anymore. Actually, I'll probably just cut this bottom section out. Actually, this is, this is thin enough. Hold on. Maybe I can use uh, shears. This is thin enough, I could probably use these big bitches right here. Maybe. <sighs> this is gonna go so bad. I already know. Oh, I cut through one! Hell yeah! Oh my god, we almost cut through the fu a fucking wire. Oh, that would have been so bad. Okay, let's do the other one now. Oh shit. Oh yeah! Let's fucking go! This is the most jank shit ever. So, if you have a grinder, I mean, I do, but I didn't want to sit here and like grind through that shit. Um, you're gonna have to grind that off. Fucking piece of shit. Now, we have our rear caliper line. Okay, so just like last time, it goes bolt, washer, through the banjo, and then washer, and then into the caliper. Just like a so. Okay. This is almost to where I want it to be. It just needs to be turned down just a little bit. like that. We have successfully set the brake lines. Banjo bolt washer first, then washer again into the master. Oh, don't cross thread, please. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, the only thing I don't want to do is breed the, breed? Breed, bleed the brakes. Cause fuck me, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Okay, brake lines are on. These are 14, I think. Yeah, right? I think. Yeah, they're 14. You don't have to crank these down super hard, but I mean, you gotta put a little bit of oomph into them. I'm actually gonna do this so I can hit it like that. There we go. Okay, lines are on. Let's put this back. So you will have to cut some metal, like I said. One, the short one, you can take it off. I don't see how long I've been recording. I don't know how much memory I have on my phone left. The short one, you can just take off. Unbolt it from the front and you can take it off. The back one, the long one connecting to the cylinder. I don't think you can get that bitch off without cutting it like I just did. Because this bolt right here, it's so tight on there that you're not gonna be able to get it off. So this is what my friend was talking about when he said um, to cut some metal. I thought he meant the ABS lines, but now, now he meant that. <laughs> Cause that was the only thing I could not get off. But cool, we got it. I'm like super stoked. Plan of attack is to fill all this up with brake fluid and front and back, put brake fluid in it. Um, just to make sure I'm gonna be doing it right. I'll do the back first because there's only one cylinder. And all I gotta do is slowly pour in some fluid, suck it through the system real quick, and then finish it off with some pumps and full, full bleeds and stuff like that. Now also, before you start this, even if you're doing this, I mean, it's, it's kind of hard for a bubble to get in here because of how like fast this system is, but you wanna keep this topped off while you're messing with your tool, with your like little fucking suction tool or whatever. Cause if you suck it all the way through, you're gonna have to restart everything you just did. The back I'll do on camera, the front I might not because I will have to keep popping back and forth and watching the video on how to do it because I know it is a little bit more difficult. The back is super easy. These brakes are pretty stiff, but I just keep doing it just to make sure. What you're supposed to do is push down. I'm like trying to cover this so it doesn't. You're supposed to push down, open, and as it's down, close it, let it go. And this, this is just the return spring, which I really want to take this off. But I think these rear brakes are these bitches are solid, bro. Like, that's some stiff ass brakes, bro. Put this on. Yeah, these are solid, bro. You obviously filled up through here. I'm gonna do the same process. It's just. I think what you have to do is suck it through the right one first because that has the shortest line. So when you fill it up, suck it through the right one, right one, and then alternate to the left one, and then a little bit of back and forth. So I kind of have to play with that until the brakes feel really firm. And as much as I want to record it, I don't think I will because this video is getting long enough as it is. I'm already at like probably two and a half hours of footage working on this bike. Not gonna end the video here. I'm gonna give you like a update once I'm done. So I will be right back. Okay, so the front is done. I mean, I, the bike is still kind of, you know, apart. But as you can see here, I'm, do, the, I'm doing this 
So just in case there are any little bubbles left, you know, kind of at the top or something, it'll it'll like kind of rise them out. Cause I'm just gonna, from what I, I saw uh, Twin Stunts do this and they said to leave it overnight, but I kind of want to go test ride it here in a minute. So I'm gonna finish putting the bike together and then I'll cut this off and I'll show you how firm they are. I don't know, but I will say this, mm, excuse me. I don't know if it's the lever that I'm using, but it's like, I don't want to say there's a dead spot because then I know the people that watch this will be like, well, you didn't bleed your brakes enough, but I think I did because like, like this shit is firm. Like granted, yes, it's like pulled all the way in just in case for bubbles and shit. But when I squeeze it, it is like firm because I think even before I got rid of the ABS lines, it would like, I think there was just like, there's like a spring or something in, in the brake lever. So like it causes it to have like a small dead zone and then you feel your brake pressure. So maybe that's what it is. And if not, well then, um, I guess on the ride here in a second that y'all are going to see, or might not, I don't know. I might wait till tomorrow to, to show you the ride for it. But, um, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Now, I might not have front brakes, but I'm going to put this on real quick uh or put everything back together and then i'll kind of show you the feel of the brakes and you'll see when i start to really squeeze it you'll actually see how firm it is so be right back Alrighty, everybody the bike is done for the most part i need to put some fucking zip ties on i just forgot so what i was going to show you is yeah these hoes are stiff like like i'm squeezing the shit out of that so this is the ABS to non ABS conversion, I guess you could say. So, core motor steel ready brake lines from the master all the way down to the left side. Everything still kind of fits up nicely. Smaller one runs right in here, held by this little pin. Runs across down here. Oh, God, thank God I didn't start driving away with that. Yeah, this. This front master took like over an hour to bleed. It would not do what I needed it to, but thankfully we got it going. Same with the back. The back, the uh, ABS module is disconnected, runs from the master, or runs from the cylinder to the master, or vice versa, however you want to put it. Wraps around, everything kind of fits in together nicely still. But yeah, and I also put in the, uh, what am I trying to say? Centered brakes. Oh, the back brake is so touchy. Woo! Oh, I fucking love it. Okay, so it is a little dark, yes. Um, I am sorry about that, but the reason I'm riding right now and not tomorrow is because. Um, I want to get everything kind of uh, broken in, you know what I mean? Like, man, this, holy shit, touch, sink in the throttle. Oh my God, this bike is a new bike. I've just done uh, an overhaul of maintenance on this bike, so everything feels really nice. But yeah, I'm doing it now instead of tomorrow because I want to get everything broken in and uh, making sure the pads and the the rotors are kind of meshing well together. That yeah, front brakes feel okay. Like, even the back brake puts me to a stop so fast. Yeah, these brakes feel good. Oh my god! Oh, that fucking 
fucking mess with Santa brakes anymore. Ah! Oh, I'm fucking happy. Oh, my friend's here. Hold on. Like, dude, that's so good. It, like, stops on a dime now. Dude, like, that's insane. I come to a stop so quick. Oh my god, it sounds so fucking good. Woo! I'm kind of just coasting on him right now. Like, I'm barely touching him, dude, and I'm stopping. Look how good I'm stopping. I'm barely touching my brakes. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. You know, if you stuck around this far, because holy shit, this video is going to take a while to edit. Please leave a like. Like, please. I would really appreciate it. But if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. What you see is what we're all about. Bike builds, bike reviews, fucking moto vlogs, stunts, you know. Anything on two wheels, it's on this channel, man. You know, I'm always about shit on motorcycles, so yeah, uh, I guess that's it. Appreciate y'all watching, and y'all have a wonderful night, day, evening, whatever it is for y'all. Assassin out!